CEO.ca is on location at the Money Show in Toronto. With me is Brad Kitchen, President and CEO of ES Golds. This is a junior miner that's fully permitted to clean up toxic tailings and create gold and silver production in the process. Now, Brad, thank you for being here. I have a question for you to start so that my audience and I can learn a lot more about ES Gold. What differentiates you from other resource companies? Christoph, Rachel, thanks for having me. Uh, and that's a really cool question. Uh, in some ways, we're not a resource company. We're almost more of a recycling company. We're very ESG-centered. We are a resource company in that we will be processing or reprocessing toxic tailings, extracting gold, silver, and mica, and then those, to- those tailings will no longer be toxic. The, the company itself... Um, has just completed a PEA or preliminary economic assessment. And that shows that we have an earnings potential of eight eighty seven million US just from the tailings and some of the near surface production. And uh, well, let's kind of elaborate more on the strategy here. So environmental impacts while maximizing economic potential. That's exactly right. So again, ESG from the environment perspective, we're taking this toxic tailings and from a social perspective, we're creating jobs in an area where there was a mine for 90 years, but there's no industry right now. And from a governance perspective, we're also generating a lot of revenue and some income for our shareholders. So we're building value in the company. Okay. Um, you also uh, had some additional stake claims in the mining region that you're in, in Quebec. Tell us a little bit more about um, how that fits into your overall growth plan for the company. Sure. Well, the tailings themselves, and this is what we did the preliminary economic assessment on, will only last for about four or five years. Our plant itself will be a thousand tons a day, and the tailings will only last, like I said, for a short period of time. In addition, the the it wasn't mine. There's some extremely good uh, results, drilling results, historic drilling results. We thought it would be a good opportunity for us to expand the underground package so that when we are finished with the tailings, it gives us a lot more resource to look at. Another, I guess, differentiator among resource companies and ES Gold is that you're not focused on drilling. Correct. We're focused on production. Thanks for mentioning that. <laughs> no, and that, that really is the big thing, is, is our focus isn't in the exploration right now. We know there's a lot of potential in the future, a lot of blue sky, if you will. But we're only about six months to nine months away from production. And that's the big difference is we will be getting revenue in. Now your market cap is less than 3% uh, of your uh, project net present value. So why the undervaluation here and any catalyst coming up so that we can you know, see, see some reevaluation? Sure, I just joined the company about five weeks ago. And thank you, <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Uh, the company is an extremely strong company. Uh, fully permitted, we're ready to go, we're ready to get into production, uh, but we haven't done a good job of telling the story. So my job is to make sure that I go out and I work on tell people or show our investors and show new potential investors why we're worth a lot more than the 3% of our NPV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, show them who you are, right? Exactly, and, and this is going to happen over time too. Right now, we should probably be at 10% of our net present value. We're only at 3%, so that's a, a three times gain. Once we complete the financing and the construction of the operating plant, yeah. we should be at 20 to 30%. I mean, but once we start producing, we should be at 30 to 40%. Good. So you're basically going from a market cap company of $4 million to one that should be worth 40 to $50 million. So we'll stand to watch, right? Exactly. It's going to be a busy 18 months. Uh, last question for you. Um, operation costs are generally high for junior mining companies. Um, how do you plan to balance that uh, while being financially healthy? Do you have any partners, any al- alternative financing on, uh, up ahead? Yeah. No, that's a really, really important question. The company itself has done most of the work. Um, we have 60% of all the equipment that we need. We have a 16,000 square foot operating plant already built. The infrastructure is in place. Quebec Hydro is in place. We're in the town of Montauban, so we don't have to build a mill. The 
an additional money that we need, $5 million, we're going to try and acquire it from a non-dilutive perspective. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a construction loan that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. In addition, once we do complete the construction of the, the mill or construction of the, the circuit, we have an operating line of $2 million. So that's already in place. And, and I like to, the analogy of the plant is like a car. We've already got the money for the gas. So it's just a case of finishing off the car. So we'll continue to watch. Like I mentioned, uh, our followers can actually uh, see the ES Gold channel on CEO.ca, but you're also on the CSC under what ticker symbol? ESAU. There you go. Thank you again, Brad. Rachel, thank you very much. Thank you.